I remember this song from when I was a little girl in Sunday school. It's a very good song, very um, <laughs> true. Uh, something we still need to do, young or old, it matters not. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little mouth, what you say. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little ears, what you hear. Be careful, little hands, what you do. Be careful, little hands, what you do. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little hands, what you do. And be careful, little feet, where you go. Be careful, little feet, where you go. For the Father up above He's looking down in love, so be careful, little feet, where you go. Well, you know, uh, what you watch and listen to goes into your heart. And uh, the Bible tells us to be uh, careful with our words because we'll be justified or condemned by the words we speak. And we will be held accountable for every word we speak, every idle word that we speak. Um, the, well, the Bible says we'll give an account thereof. And um, so it starts in the thought processes. Uh, we need to be careful what we allow ourselves to think because what we think on a lot is going to, go into the heart, and it's going to come out the mouth. And uh, it may not be things you want to be saying or doing. And uh, remember, it's the little foxes that spoil the vine. <laughs> and I can't forget that. Mama taught me that. And to examine ourselves on a regular basis instead of other people, because um, God is their judge. We are not. He's God and we're not. Okay, and I, I was writing this song, watching you down, and it, um, I thought of the song, Be Careful Little Eyes What You See. So, But I thought, well, they go together, so I'm going to do that one too. All alone on the road To the soul's true abode there's an eye watching you Every step that you take This great eye is awake There's an all-seeing eye watching you Watching you Watching you Every day, mind the course you pursue. Watching you, watching you. There's an all seeing eye watching you. As you, as you make life. 
such bright light. Keep the pathway of right, cause there's an eye watching you. God will warn not to go in the path of the foes. There's an all seeing eye watching you. Watching you. Watching you. Every day, mind the course you pursue. Watching you. Watching you. There's an all seeing eye watching you. Fix your mind on the goal. That sweet home of the soul. There's an eye watching you. Don't ever turn from the way to the kingdom of day. There's an all seeing eye watching you. Watching you. Watching you. Every day, mind the course you pursue. Watching you. Watching you. There's an all seeing eye watching you. Watching you. And it's a loving eye. It's our Heavenly Father watching over us to protect, guard us and protect us in all of our ways. And He always knows best for us, so we need to let Him do the leading. And uh, He's the one that's watching us. And uh, it's like a parent, you know. Uh, while the kids are young, especially the parents watch over them a lot closer if they're good parents because... Um, they could hurt themselves and without realizing. And see, it's the same spiritually. So uh, don't think that he's watching over you to get you. You know, that's not what he's doing. He's watching over you to protect you, to help you. When you, uh, you know, uh, Jesus had that staff. It had the curve in the end of it. Uh, and they, he was, he's the shepherd, the good shepherd. And uh, that hook in that staff was for if one of the sheep fell over on a ledge on a cliff or something or in a hole or whatever, uh, he could use that hook and reach down and pull that sheep up to safety. See, that's what it's all about. So don't mind that eye that's watching you because I've heard people say, you know, that's a scary thought. I mean, you know, it's like he's looking over you to, you know, to pounce you, to get you. Ooh, you know. Well, not so. Uh, unless you're really doing something really bad. And uh, then he still doesn't just want to get you and pounce you. He wants to straighten you out and get you back on the right path. Because, you know, uh, sheep will go astray a lot of times and they get themselves in all kinds of troubles and fixes and uh, the Lord has to uh, watch over them and bring them back to the fold and keep them in the fold to protect them because um, you know uh, there's a, such a thing as a um, sheep that is cast well I didn't know what that was but I, I found this book um, Weller, John, uh, John Weller, I think it is, uh, wrote this book about the 23rd Psalm, and he became a preacher later, but in the first, uh, he had a farm, and he had a sheep farm, and in taking care of those sheep, he learned all about them, and so he did the a book on the 23rd Psalm with a, a different, with a look, because uh, when a, a sheep is cast, it means he's on his back, and they, if they have too much fur, they can't roll back over and get on their feet, so they'll lay there and die if if the shepherd doesn't find them quick and pull them, get them back up on their feet. So that's what he's watching us for. Don't ever forget that. I love you and God loves you. See you later.